What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to be reviewing this. So if you guys may or may not be familiar with YouTube's artist community, there is an artist here on YouTube named Jazza or formerly known as Drawn with Jazza. He makes super cool art videos. He's like the art icon, the art goat of YouTube. But if you have heard of Jazza, you may have known that he had released an art box maybe two years ago in 2019, which, which went on sale for like a month or whatever. Two years later, which is pretty much now, he released another box called the Pro Artist Series, which I then have to review today. Of course, like any other artist would do, he made a video spotlighting all the supplies that are in this box, which I watched once, but I didn't want to watch again because I wanted everything to be pretty much a surprise to me. So although I'm not familiar with every single art supply that's in this box, we're going to pretty much open it up and see what Jazza has in store for us today. But if you haven't heard of Jazza, I'll drop his channel link down below. But a short summary of what he does is he does pretty much anything art related. He does animation, sculpture, and like me, I do drawing and illustration. He does that too. He pretty much does anything related to art. So definitely worth checking out. Ooh, and look, Jazza also has a beard. He gave us a few little stickers we can use. Like a ninja marker. This I haven't seen at all. But again, it's supposed to be a surprise to me. And then I think a little thank you from Jazza. When I reviewed Spectrum Noir tools for the first time, I was blown away by the versatility and consistent high quality. Since then, we worked together to develop this kit, and I am beyond excited to partner with them. Ooh, nice. Now let's really open her up. We got 24 illustrator markers, two marker storage trays, six fine liner pens, 24 pencils, two graphite pencils, one eraser, 20 plus line art designs, and some marker paper. Wow. Okay, cool. There's a box in a box. Okay, okay. Okay, so here are the markers. Super tip, fine tip, blah, blah, blah. This must be the trays, which if this thing will let me take it out. Ah, here we go. And we got tray number one. And we got tray number two. With all the primaries. This pretty much is kind of a surprise to me because after all the markers that I reviewed on my channel, I never really reviewed Spectrum Noir markers at all. Okay, so here we got Jazz's coloring pages. This one I know because I bought his book. This is on the cover page of it. This one kind of reminds me of Ursula from The Little Mermaid. I might just color this piece because I've seen Jazza color this picture I don't know how many times. And I've seen him swap line work with uh, another artist on YouTube drawing this illustration. So I might just do this one when I color with the markers. Maybe that or maybe this one because I like this one as well. And then blank sheets of I guess this is cardstock paper. It might be expressive blending card. That might be what this is, but I'll just open that up later. Let's just see what else is in the box for now. Okay, so it's got like a customizable like plastic tray for the rest of the supplies. So you probably gotta dig, dig down here. So we got the uh, fine liner sets. There's six. And then it's got a little plain eraser. Let's see, two pencils. What you got in here? You got a 2B and an HB. I could use a 2B. HB I might use. And then the uh, 24 set of colored pencils. I think it kind of corresponds with the colors that come in the marker set. I never knew Spectrum Noir made colored pencils. And this case is how many? Oh, there it is. Okay. Nice. And this kind of has a hinge so you, it doesn't come off. Okay, perfect. Let's see. I got a little plastic on it. Okay, so let's see what the colored pencils look like. Okay, so I think they're uh, built almost the same way like the graphite pencils are with like this little end right here and they're pre-sharpened the way the Arteza color pencils would be so that's pretty neat is there anything else in the set? is there anything down here that we may have missed? oh nope that's it so after getting a feel of what art supplies are in the box, I'm going to first color one of Jazz's drawings just to get a feel of how the markers perform because like I said earlier, I didn't, I never used Spectrum Noir markers. I've heard of the brand, but I've never used their markers before. And then with all the supplies that are in this box, I'm going to construct an entire illustration as my tribute to Jazza. So let's get to it. 
So before we start talking about the drawing, I'm going to swatch the markers and see what colors I'm working with. So overall, I do like the color selection of the markers. It's like your basic 24 set of crayons, except one of them is colorless. I got a pretty decent amount of warm colors and cool colors. Um, the only thing that gets me is that there's only one light pink. I could blend that CR2 with the pink, but I'm planning on using that for the skin tone instead. Because, because I have a light skin tone in this set. But I want to use the color to kind of blend it out. I don't want to use brown because it's like two different values and it's going to be a little bit difficult to blend those two together. So that's why I want to use that more uh, peachy pink to kind of blend that with the skin tone. The two greens are pretty much alike. One of those greens is a little bit more yellowish. The other is more like a tropical green. And I think they're pretty much close to the same value. So I might need to use like a darker color to kind of blend that darker green in with the lighter green. The color blue is I really like. There's a light one, there's a mid-tone one, and then there's a dark one. So you got your base blending trio right there and I think for the rest of the color there's like the red and the dark red there's a light yellow and a saturated yellow there's a lilac purple and a pretty close to red ish purple there's like a cocoa brown and a darker brown and then a few combinations of grays and it's not really bad for a color selection because if all else fails then I can just blend those darker colors with the black, maybe the grays to kind of help make it a little bit darker. Because for me, that's always an option. But since I am a little bit curious on how these markers blend together, I'm going to try some of these combinations on a separate sheet of paper so I can see what blends that I have to work with and what colors really blend in with each other. I really like how the blues blended together nicely, except that really lighter blue is more like a bluish green, like an ice green or whatever. I mean, it does blend in with the other blues, but it's, but it's a little bit different in a way because it's got a hint of green in there, which is not bad for a blue, honestly, because it's a light blue and that's pretty much all right with me. And for the purples, I was actually expecting them to not blend in with each other because this lilac purple, it has a little bit of blue mixed into it and you're trying to blend that into a reddish purple, which is not going to be the easiest thing when it comes to blending two purples together because in a way it's kind of blending like a light blue in with the red I can blend the two purples in together but it's gonna take a lot more ink to get it uh, blended together and it won't be as smooth as the other ones and while I was doing this I was trying to see what colors I can mix with the gray to help get that darker like what I mentioned earlier with the greens I tried to mix the gray with the green to help get that green darker and I also attempted to add a black to see if I can go even darker with it and surprisingly they blended together all nicely like I was able to add the black and blend it back in with the green so I can actually get a smooth gradient going on the grays that I had really blended together nicely because the combination of grays that I had is similar to the blues just like what I said with the blues there's a light a mid and a dark which makes it easy to blend three colors together so I won't necessarily have to add like a darker gray to help get it darker or use a colorless blender to kind of dilute it and make it a bit lighter so having blending trios just like that makes life a whole lot easier when it comes to blending marker also for the red I have a light red and a dark red and pretty much and right off the bat they go together and they blend together nicely however red is distinctly close to brown so if I need to go even darker with that darker red I can use one of my brown markers and help get that darker color in which which is something I really liked and also I tried to blend the browns in together and they blended super nicely because I think I forgot to mention that there was a darker brown in this set so I have a, a light a mid and a dark brown so right off the bat you can use it as a skin combination and also since red is a warm color I can just use one of those browns to go even dark. but then that just leaves the orange which I wasn't able to blend with any of the browns like I tried all three browns so for this princess illustration I wanted to go with the red because I just love how the reds really blended together in this illustration and with the brown as a shade I can just blend that in nicely but the browns that I had in this set compared to the orange didn't blend together as I thought the shade for yellow I can go with one red and since I have a darker red I can use that as well and like I mentioned earlier with the browns I have a way to make it a little bit darker different skin tones like the one skin I have like a regular light skin skin tone or whatever it's more yellowish more like eggshell ish skin tone and I blended that in with a peachy tone which I don't often do and I have done on my channel but for this illustration since I do have a fairly limited color selection I was able to manage with it since the majority of the piece is like red pink and a little bit of dark red in it like monochromatic like I said I wanted to kind of contrast it by using a little bit of green somewhere up here towards her face for this illustration she has a bird on her finger so I know it makes sense to make it like a red bird but there's already enough red in the piece like even though I would have but I don't want to so I could have made the bird red but then the entire piece would be monochromatic 
and I said I wanted to incorporate all the colors that are in this set in this piece. But to help kind of contrast it, I used the green for the bird, and then right next to the bird, hopefully you can see it, but I added some green for the jewels that she have on her necklace and the crown that's way up here. And now since I made the color of her sleeves like a light pinkish, I didn't really have a shade for it. The shade I wanted to use for it, I kind of used for the pattern on the sleeves, which kind of goes with the skin tone, so I didn't really have a way to shade the sleeves overall. So that's why I incorporated some colored pencils that they had, which were also by Spectrum Noir. And I thought to myself that maybe these colored pencils kind of correspond with the marker colors, but they didn't. So just maybe, just maybe I have a chance to blend those sleeves in somehow. So I swatched all the colored pencils on a separate sheet of paper, and I also had room to swatch the inks while I was at it. So unlike how the marker set was, I don't have a large selection of browns. I do have a black which I can manage with, but I didn't really incorporate a lot of brown into the piece anyway. But my main concern would be the sleeves because that's the only thing in the drawing that's not shaded. Alright, so I finished the drawing. Now I'm gonna see what it looks like with one of these stickers. Let's see what it looks like with the sticker. It looks decent. Not the best, but it's decent. So now that I get a feeling how the supplies perform, I'm gonna try this on one of my drawings as my tribute to Jazza. It really surprises me how much I could do with just 24 colors. And with the color pencil set, it kind of makes life easier. And although the marker's performance may not be the best, which is good that there's colored pencils in this Jazza Pro Artist Series box. Also, let me know what you guys think about the supplies in the box, what you think about the drawing, the coloring page that I colored today. Let me know what you guys think about all that in the comments below. But that's going to do it for the video. Special thanks to Jazza for collaborating with Spectrum Noir to create this super cool box. But again, if you haven't heard about Jazza or formerly known as Draw With Jazza, you are truly missing out. The link will be down in the description if you want to go and check out his channel. And if you are new to my channel, I do lots of drawing tutorials, speed drawings, art challenges, and more. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I